Good day and welcome. I'm John and for today I have a video topic that is a little different. So this will be the steeping experiment. In this video I will go over the results of me mixing two different flavors and steeping them for 1, 5 and 12 days long. I will quickly go over the changes I see for its flavor and comment on anything that might stand out from the previous tests. I might repeat this experiment again with different flavors if there is enough interest, but for today I chose the two most popular flavors from the two most popular categories in my opinion, which are strawberry and tobacco. For the strawberry side we have for steeping the Inawera strawberry shisha, and for the tobaccos we have RY4 from Flavor Art. If you are thinking why I didn't use the TFA RY4, that is because some people say it's not strong enough as a tobacco and I feel like Flavor Art corrected that, so it's included in that version. Now starting with the mixing ratios, which were the following, and each one was tested with these two devices here. I find these ratios are good enough to represent the potential of each flavor. So now with the testing. After one day, the shiso strawberry was pretty potent and I would say okay to vape. It tasted better on the internal coil this time, since there is a slight harsh aftertaste when dripping it, but still okay to vape after just one day. I give it 6 out of 10 in maturity. Now the RY4 still tastes pretty dark. I can taste the same flavor on the inhale and exhale compared to the sweeter exhale that it has when steeped longer. The taste is okay, you get a lot of caramel coming up front at this point, but in a pinch the RY4 might work after just one day steeping alright, though I would recommend using a little less than my ratio if you're only going for a 24 hour steeping. I'd give it 4 out of 10 at this point. Now moving to day 5, which in my opinion brought the biggest differences. The strawberry shisha it's pretty much done at this point. When I tried it, the taste was much more mellow compared to the 24 hour steep and the strawberry flavor is very mild on the inhale and then it peaks during the exhale like expected. It tasted almost the same in both vapes. So the verdict is 9 out of 10 ready to vape. Now the RY4 also had a big change in flavor too. The caramel has mellowed down now and the tobacco flavor is starting to blend in even better. I can still taste some bitterness of the tobacco, but that could go away with some extra sweetener and triacetin if you're looking for a fast steeper. The verdict is 8 out of 10, good enough, but a couple more days would definitely help. But if you're looking for a bold tobacco, a 5 day steep would do the trick. And now last, going to the notes after trying these mixes after the complete 12 day steep. Starting with the strawberry again, and this time I don't have much more to add than the last time. The flavor is still very nice and rich only at 2% flavor used. Also there's no fade in the flavor, something for example Capella sweet strawberry would do if it was used solo and steep for this long. So the verdict is 10 out of 10 done. For the RY4 it's a similar story. The flavor now is completed, when I open the bottle I could smell a distinct dark butterscotch, a smell that is common for an e-liquid made with mainly RY4. So that's normal here. Taste wise it's the same, the flavor comes out mild in the beginning and peaks during the exhale with a lot of tobacco taste and plenty of caramel too. So the verdict is that it's done and 12 days possibly the right amount of steeping this flavor needs. Now if you have tried something similar yourself or you'll be interested to see more similar videos comparing steeping notes, please let me know below. Thank you for watching as always, and I will see you next time.